Yo, what is going on YouTube? Listen, my name is Sad Boy Fari, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to basically do Jace's woo woo ad lib that he does when he's using beats by like dev stacks and regalia. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So look, I made I made this quick little beat and I basically just recorded some light little easy vocals on there, but these right here, these are the ad libs when I did the woo woo. Woo, woo. So I'm gonna let you guys hear how that sounds and then we're gonna tweak it to more fit the style in the way that he did it. Let me meet the man. I think what Jace does is he uses a little bit more fruity love filter on it as well as maybe some more convolvers. So I'm gonna add a fruity love filter on it and some convolver and see if we can make it sound more like how we did on Dingling or <laughs> Lil' Key. But first, let's talk about how I mix these regardless. So of course I added some auto-tune to it. Um, I have the limiter active on there, but I'm probably gonna take it off just so we can add some fruity love filter, but let's finish going through what we have on there for now. I also have an EQ on there. I'm just boosting the highs. Um, of course the lows are cut and the it's just a couple drops in the mid because we don't really need those frequencies right now but you head over to the compressor um i have my normal compressor settings i have a 36 threshold with a 13 gain negative 36 a soft type um with my sound goodizer i chose sound goodizer d um i i'm using fruity panoramic i'm using fruity panomatic and the panning is just helping for it to go side to side bouncing back and forth between the ears and i think that that's just nice and subtle way for like the song to feel more full because the ad will be taking up more space. But I also have fresher, I have it at 64 high air, 28 mid air, just to give some nice clean crispiness to the vocals to make them sound a lot more clear and professional. I also have the ghost vocals going on with the convolver. Right now I have it at a 52 mix level. I'm gonna probably leave it there even after the Fruity Love filter, but we shall see. I also have reverb. I'm choosing reverb two at a 14 mix level, 52 wet level, 111 dry level. So I have it maxed out. And yeah, with the delay, I also have it at a 18 mix level with a 80 input volume, 100 pan, if you mean dry level of 80%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play the vocals while I add the fruity love filter onto it. I think that's about it. And maybe boost it up. There we go. So what I just did was I basically boosted the frequencies more. I boosted the high shell to 9.8 decimals. I boosted the peaking to 3.8, as well as the low shelf, I put that at negative five. Now I did that because on my way home, I was listening to um, Dingaling, and I heard, <laughs> I was listening to Lil Key. I'm not gonna keep saying Dingaling. I was listening to Lil Key, and I noticed that the, um, the woo -woo ad libs, in that song, it was a lot more suppressed, versus in, um, it was one of them other songs on Final Fantasy, and, um, it just sounded a lot more clear. So I say that the first preset was basically was basically the more clear version. This one could be for like the little key type. Woo woo ad lib. But yeah. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below if this helped you out. If you enjoy using this ad lib or if you want any other different kind of presets, let me know down in the comments below. And I hope, again, that you enjoyed this video. If you want this preset, all you have to do is go to the link in my description and join the Discord. And I'll be placing it up in there. 
And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.